Hello everyone, here's your Southeast Idaho weather and hazard briefing for Monday, November 4th. We really don't have a lot going on this week. Northwest flow continues. It's been there for days. as can continue through at least the end of this week. Temperatures, even if we have a few systems that are weak, clipping the divide, keeping us mostly on the dry side, there's a couple of exceptions there. Our temperatures in the afternoon are going to be at or above average for November. Not record setting, but definitely above average. Satellite loop image shows you the big ridge of high pressure building along the coast and out into the Pacific Ocean. This is going to be shifting eastward, at least trying to, over the next few days. And that will continue with us being on the eastern side and northwest flow keeping us pretty much on the dry side. Now, one exception is going to be for today. We have a, one of those systems clipping the divide. As you can see, we, we go through the rest of the day. There might be a few shower, light shower sprinkles, flurries up around Reynolds Pass, Targhee Pass, up around uh, the mountains there, and maybe down as far south as Driggs and in the Tetons through the afternoon and the early evening hours. But pretty much we're dry until we get to next week. Here's our overall pattern over the entire western U.S. as we go through the rest of the week and you can see that ridge starting to shift east. We have another weak system. You can kind of see it reflected here dropping along the divide. It'll be dry. That'll drop us back a couple of degrees for Wednesday into Thursday. But you can see that ridge coming back over us as we head towards the end of the week. A little stronger system dropping down, pushing that ridge back to the west over the weekend. That's going to give us a little better chance of, of, of some showers, mainly in the central mountains from around Salmon over to Chalice, also up around Island Park down to maybe as far south as Afton, Wyoming, as we go into Sunday across the area. Looking at those temperatures, we are going to be, again, at or above average in the upper 40s to low to mid 50s across the Snake Plain. Even up in some of the higher mountain valleys, we'll be in the 40s once you get up into the high country. It's still going to be dry, so some chilly overnight lows. Warmer tomorrow. Look at that down around Burley, the Magic Valley. Maybe into the low 60s for tomorrow afternoon, but you see that brief drop back on Wednesday into Thursday, especially reflected in the afternoon highs, but by Friday and Saturday, trying to push into some 60s across the lower Snake Plain, maybe into also the Magic Valley as well and just as we go into the weekend, dropping back again Saturday and Sunday, or especially Sunday with that next storm moving in. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Otherwise, have a great day, a great start to your first week in November, and stay safe out there.